Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. As promised, today we're going to be talking about coffee creamers, non-dairy, plant-based of course, um, which is so awesome because I love coffee and there's really nothing more disappointing than putting some creamer in your coffee cup and it kind of just like fizzles and dissipates and it still looks like you're drinking a black cup of coffee. Um, for the longest time, that's what drinking coffee as a vegan was like because we didn't have all these beautiful options. Um, before we had like almond or soy milk, which I mean, they're fine, but almond milk is like putting almond flavored water in your coffee and soy milk is like, always has like a soy flavor and it like gets really curdly when you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you overheat it. So that's not really convincing anybody. Um, I drink soy lattes all the time still, I, you know, I'm just spoiled now. But today we're gonna to be talking about a bunch of different coffee creamers that I found at Target. So they should all be accessible to you. Um, I picked up a bunch of different brands um, with different kinds of milks, so some oats, some almonds, some coconut, um, some cashew, all kinds of things like that. When I drank dairy, um, I would put half and half in my coffee um, because I'm not really like a sweetener kind of person. I like a little bit of like maple syrup or something, but Typically, I, I do them separately, so it'll be really interesting to see how some of these make me feel. Um, and I'll try to give you my, you know, super realistic opinion on all of them. Um, I have a bunch of different brands. I have Oatly, I have So Delicious, I have Nut Pods, I have Silk, I have Coffee Mate, and two Califia Farms. Um, the Oatly oat milk here is not technically a coffee creamer, but it's usually what I put in my coffee. It's the full fat version. Um, it says it has seven grams of sugar, but I never really taste a lot of sweetness ever. So this is kind of like my control of like what I know that I like. I have six cups of hot coffee. They are all the brand Equal Exchange. Um, I use that coffee because it's relatively affordable. It's fair trade, um, it's delicious. And it just seems like a really conscious choice. I really like their company. This is the Black uh, black Silk Espresso. Um, it's a really nice strong cup of coffee. You can make it into espresso or, you know, regular drip co coffee, which I love. Um, and it should hold up really nicely to all of the creamers that we're gonna use. We're gonna look at overall look. You know, does it do that like luscious bloom, like in all the TV commercials? We're gonna talk about the mouthfeel of the coffee. Is it creamy? Is it too watery? Um, does it make a good first impression on us? Does it taste like it's supposed to taste? Um, I've had a lot of different coffee creamers that say that they're vanilla, but they just taste kind of artificial and like weird and not vanilla. And then I've had a lot of um, hazelnut coffee creamers that for some reason taste like buttered popcorn or they taste and smell like this, like, I don't, I don't know what it is, but it's, Maybe it's unique to my own taste buds, I don't know, but it always smells and tastes like buttered popcorn or something of the like. I mean, that's not what hazelnut tastes like, so hopefully these stand up a lot better than the hazelnut creamers that I used to know. I'm going to add two tablespoons of each creamer to the glass. Um, for the majority of these, a serving size is one tablespoon. I don't know anybody who puts one tablespoon of coffee creamer or milk into their coffee. So let's get started. Um, I want to start with the nut pods first. It is almond and coconut creamer in the French vanilla flavor. It is unsweetened and dairy free, it says. Um, so it says zero sugar grams, 10 calories per one tablespoon. Who cares though, right? Um, water, coconut cream, almonds, you know, a bunch of gums, sunflower, lecithin, things like that. Nothing that's like, you know, striking me as terrible. Um, it says non-GMO project verified. I don't know what that means, but I remember to shake all of your um, coffee creamers and nut milks because, you know, they have that sediment on the bottom because they're usually made from nuts or something like that. Um, and, you know, you want to make sure you get all the good stuff mixed in. So I'm going to use my little measuring cup here. and It has the line on it for an eighth of a cup, which is two tablespoons. Okay. There we go. Oh, this one looks nice and creamy. Oh, it's sticking to the sides. So you see that? So that means it's creamy. Just like in wine, that means it has legs. I don't know. Fun facts. Okay. Let me close this up so I don't spill it all over the place because I'm not the most coordinated human being. Okay. Nut pods. Let's try front and center here. Let's see. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Yes. Did you guys see that bloom? That was beautiful. Okay, 
I have my cute little spoon from Switzerland here. That's gorgeous. That's a really nice color. That's about the color that I drink my coffee at. Um, you know, not too light, not too dark. Just a good caramelly color. That's beautiful. Okay, I really like that look so far. Let's put this up here for you. Okay, moving on to our So Delicious Oat Milk Snickerdoodle flavor. Um, it looks really cute. Limited edition. I've seen this a couple times in the fall. Um, Since so it's gluten free also, which is nice. Eighth of a cup. Oh, it's kind of the same color as that one, which is interesting because supposed to be snickerdoodle flavor. Oh, it smells good. Okay, let's check the back. 25 calories per tablespoon, so quite a bit more than the nut pods. Three grams of sugar, oat milk, sunflower oil, sugar, pea protein. A couple more ingredients in here. They don't scare me, but, you know, more ingredients than the nut pods. So if that's something you're interested in, you know, look at the label for sure. Okay, let's see, how does it hold up? Oh, still creamy, but you know what? I think it, it doesn't hold up as much as the other one does. So definitely a little bit wat more watery, waterier. Oh. I'm an art teacher, guys, not an English teacher. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay, okay. That one has a really nice bloom too. I really enjoy that. Okay, cool. Oh, it's settling a little bit on the bottom. Interesting. Okay, really, really similar in color. As you can see, they smell great. I wish you could smell them. Okay. That was really nice. That one had a really good bloom too. It's actually a little bit lighter than the nut pods, I think. Interesting. Okay, cool. I'm going to go with my handy dandy oat milk. Really shake this guy. I feel like, I don't know, oat milk to me is really milky. It's really helped me um, replace some of that dairy in my life. And you know, because oatmeal oatme doesn't taste sweet to me, I didn't realize it had seven grams of sugar in it, but it doesn't taste sweet to me. So I use it in a lot of savory things too. I use it in like mac and cheese sauces. Um, I don't know, some pastas, some, you know, soups, that kind of thing, because it doesn't taste sugary but the full fat version is really nice and creamy. Not as creamy as the nut pods, it seems, because it's not technically a creamer, remember, it's just the full fat version, which is really nice in coffee, so let's do that. Let's do it. You know, I'm biased because I already know that I love Oatly, um, and I was expecting more from this, but it didn't really do much. It didn't, it didn't perform the way that these two did with their beautiful, luscious, decadent blooms. Interesting. That's what I get. I still love Oatly, but maybe it's not as, as gorgeous as some of the others. Okay. Um, Silk Vanilla. It's an unsweetened almond creamer, which is really cool because you know, for the longest time, all we had were these like really, really sweet options, like toxically sweet. Um, and it's always been kind of a struggle of mine to find a coffee creamer that's, you know, makes my coffee light enough, but without adding too much sweetness. So by the time I get to this beautiful color that I love, it's always like sickeningly sweet. And I'm not really one of those Dunkin' gals that, you know, like milk and sugar with a little bit of like coffee flavor in their drink. I like coffee. I really love the flavor of coffee. Um, and I want a milk that erases a little bit of the bitterness, but brings up some of the beautiful notes of the actual coffee. Okay, and I find that Equal Exchange, um, I'm not sponsored by them, but I do love them. Their coffee has some really beautiful flavors, so if you have a chance to check them out, I would. All right, two tablespoons of the Silk Vanilla Unsweetened. Okay. Oh, that looks nice and creamy. That's sticking to the sides a lot like the Nut Pods is. That's really nice, beautiful, okay. Bring it out front here. Oh, that one was lovely. Much nicer than the oat milk one. It really like whoosh, all up in there. Mm. That one looks like it might be the lightest that we have so far. I think that's the truth, dear. All right, so yeah, that one's the lightest. So that makes me feel like maybe it's the most concentrated. I don't know, we'll see when I taste them. This one is Coffee Mate Natural Bliss, Natural Bliss Cashew Milk. Oh, and I didn't tell you about the stats over here. 
Um, same pretty much ingredients as a lot of the other ones. This one's almond milk though. I don't see anything scary on it. No sugars. 15 calories per tablespoon. So that's like right in between these other two cartons over here. Yeah. Ingredients there look nice. And oatly, of course, is oat milk. Um, hmm. Some vitamins and things in here. All, all natural looking ingredients, I say. Soluble fiber is one gram in the oatly as well. Oh, and it's 160 calories per cup, which is kind of nice. You get a little bit more for your money, you know? But again, it's not creamer, so. Okay, so Coffee Mate. You know, I feel like Coffee Mate should do really well here because hasn't Coffee Mate been in business for like a billion years? Like, weren't the ancient Egyptians like drinking coffee and, you know, patronizing Coffee Mate? No, probably not, right? Because coffee was something founded in the Americas. So, but Coffee Mate, it's been around forever. Like, they should have done this a billion years ago. Okay, so Coffee Mate, nice and creamy. Very nice, I like that. Maybe not as creamy as the past one, but good legs, good legs. So sophisticated. Okay, here we go. Ooh, nice bloom. Oh, oh. Why does it do that? So all these coffees are hot, so it shouldn't be the temperature, but this one settled on the bottom, which means that it's really dense, really thick, right? It's denser than the coffee. It's like a science experiment. Oh my God. Cool. All right. So we just need to stir it, I guess. Um, it is nice light. It's, it's pretty much similar in color to all the other ones. Um, that's so interesting. I guess maybe it's just a little bit denser. Maybe it has something different in it that does that. I don't know. But so interesting how it's separated. And then we have Califia Farms Gluten-Free Oat Creamer. Um, it is vanilla flavor, has one gram of sugar. Oh, and this one has four grams of sugar, this, the coffee mate. So that's the one with the most sugar. Um, but the oat creamer has only one gram of sugar and it says it's made with whole grain oats. So I don't know. Is that supposed to make me feel like it's healthy? I don't know. We'll see. Um, I've had other Califia Farms in, um, products and they're usually really good. So this will be interesting. Um, 15 calories for one tablespoon. Really similar ingredients to all the other ones. Nothing that scares me. Cute packaging, you know, all the good stuff. Okay. Well, this one looks really thick. It smells strongly too, like the moment I poured it, 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 I could smell it. Oh yeah, yeah, look at that. Nice and creamy. I'm using the same cup. I know that that's not like the most ideal, but it's the only measuring cup I have that's like cute enough for this, okay. Okay. Oh, it's doing the same thing. So interesting. It's settling on the bottom with some coffee on top. I wonder why that is. I, I'm sure it just has to do with the density of the product, but that's so interesting. So we'll give it a stir. Same color. You know, I was kind of, um, I was expecting there to be more of a color difference between, between some of these, but they're really very similar, except for the silk. The silk is definitely the lightest. Okay, and then just for fun, we have Calivia Farms Almond Milk Creamer. So this is almond, this is oat uh, in the dark truff dark chocolate truffle flavor. Um, just for fun, it's going to be the darkest because it's chocolate, of course. But I thought, you know, the holidays are coming. This was out. Might as well try it, right? 15 calories per one tablespoon. Um, two grams of sugar. I don't know, nothing, nothing that jumps out at me is like, Wacky. Oh, it contains almonds and coconut. So, mm. it's not just an almond milk creamer then, is it? Okay. All right. Chocolate. Oh, it smells nice. It smells like you ever have a bowl of cocoa puffs and then you have the milk that's in the bowl afterwards. It's all chocolatey. 
That's what it smells like. Really creamy. You know, it's chocolate. It's indulgent. It's supposed to be desserty, right? Okay, so. Mmm, nice little bloom there for a chocolate for a chocolate coffee creamer. And this one also is settling on the bottom. I don't know if you can really see that, but so the creamer is settling on the bottom just like the last Califia Farms one. So I'll mix it up. Beautiful. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is taste them and tell you how I feel about it. Um, I'm gonna start with the oat milk because that's kind of what I know and love. Oatly is like my religion. It's my Lord and Savior. Like, you're never gonna get it out of my life. But I am willing to try these other ones and see if I like one that's better or for, you know, days where I want something a little bit sweeter. We'll see. So, Oatly. I always love it. Um, I think I really like Oatly because it brings out nice coffee flavors without being overwhelming. There's no sweetness that I can detect. And it tastes milky, which is kind of nice sometimes. Like, I know that we don't want to drink milk anymore. Um, you know, as people who are vegan or vegan curious, even, you know, milk has some really negative things that, you know, it does to your body. So a plant-based option is really, really nice, especially for people who are lactose intolerant, um, as I am, I think everybody's lactose intolerant because you're not supposed to drink cow breast milk, but if you still do, it's okay. You know, everybody's on their own path, but oat, oatly, oat milk, an amazing option. So if you can find it, if you have it in your local grocery store, it is, I think, like $5.99. Um, so it's not like as cheap as a gallon of dairy milk, but it is so good and it's so creamy and indulgent and like it's not your it's not it's not a coffee creamer, but it's a nice cup of coffee. And I think that if you were to taste this and try this and have this instead of dairy milk, you would really appreciate it. You'd appreciate the coffee flavors a bit more as well. Okay, moving on, that was my spiel. Um, this is the Snickerdoodle from So Delicious and it's oat milk, okay. It smells really nice. It smells sweet, it smells snickerdoodle-y. Snickerdoodle-y, hmm. Mm. Okay, um, yeah, that's really nice. It's, it's definitely sweeter. I can definitely taste the sweetness in this. And it does have a subtle cinnamon flavor. It's not overwhelming. Um, you know, if somebody asked me blindfolded what the flavor was, I don't think I would say snickerdoodle. I'd probably say like vanilla with like maybe a tiny bit of like cinnamon or, or something in there. Um, but it's really nice. It's not overwhelming. It's definitely not too sweet. It's like on that border of like getting to be a little too sweet, but it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I enjoy that. It still leaves room for some of the flavors of the coffee, which is really nice. Um, it's really nice, it's really nice, it's really nice. I have other words in my vocabulary, I promise. Um, but it is very creamy too, and I like the, the mouthfeel, I like the texture. Okay, I would say definitely recommend the Oatly. I recommend this one, as long as you don't mind something a little bit sweet. Um, and you're not really looking for a strong snickerdoodle flavor, I think like you might want to try it. And that one's definitely under $5 as well. Nut pods, French vanilla flavor, zero sweetness, right? Yes, no sugar. Smells fine. Smells like coffee and creamer. Oh. Interesting. I don't know if it's just because they didn't add any sugar to it, but there's something kind of funky about it. It's definitely not rancid. It's definitely new. I just opened it. Yeah, it doesn't taste like it went bad. It just tastes like it brings out some bitterness in the coffee. And it doesn't really, even though this one looked really creamy, it doesn't taste creamy. Like this one tastes creamy, the snickerdoodle. But the nut pods like... It, it looks the part, but it doesn't taste the part. I, I don't think I would recommend that one. It has like a, like that coconutty aftertaste too. Um, Cause there's coconut in here, right? Yeah, almond and coconut. So I don't think it brings out the best in the coffee. I don't really enjoy the taste of that one. Sorry, nut pods. I, I, 
I want to love you, but I just, I just don't. Okay. Silk almond creamer. Unsweetened. This is the lightest one. Oh, it smells sweet though, which is weird. Interesting. Okay. Ugh. Oh God. No. Mm-mm. I'm so confused. Oh my God, I had high hopes. No. There was a group of people and probably millions of dollars that went into this product right here. And it's terrible. Oh my God. It smells sweet, even though it's supposed to be unsweetened. And it doesn't taste sweet, but it tastes like bitter and super artificial. So like it does not taste like vanilla to me at all. Um, it does, however, taste like if you went to Home Goods and you purchased a vanilla cupcake candle, liquefied it, and poured it into your coffee. That's what it tastes like. I'm sorry, Silk. You were you were my like original people back in the day when all I drank was soy milk. But I'm sorry, that is bad. Oh no, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink that. No, no. Ugh. I would rather just not drink coffee at that point. Ugh. Sorry, is that harsh? Mm. Ugh. Okay. Okay. Mm. So, oh God, please let this one be better. Um, this is our Coffee Mate Cashew Milk Creamer. Um, it's in the flavor original. I don't know what that means. Original could be anything. It could be unflavored. It could be something funky. Um, this one has 30 calories per tablespoon because it's the most sweetened. So it has the most sugar. It promises to be buttery, rich texture and nutty flavor. We'll see. Okay. Mm. Okay. It's definitely sweet. Definitely sweet. That one definitely tastes the most sweet to me too. So they're not lying. But it doesn't really taste super artificial. Like, I think all coffee creamers are going to have a little bit of that, like, you know, you know, that, that something, that something. But, like, it's really good. And I do get a little bit of that, like, roasty, buttery flavor. I like it. And I think it would make a really nice iced coffee, too. Yeah, I'm impressed by that one. I'm not really a sweet coffee drinker, but I think that, um... I think that people would really like that one, especially if you are a Dunkin' gal and you like something really sweet and you like something with a little bit of like mm, to it, then I think that that one would be for you. I, I do, I highly recommend this one actually. That's, I'm surprising myself. That's quite nice. I think it's a little bit too sweet for me personally, but, but I like it. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Calathea Farms, oatmeal creamer, 15 calories per serving, one gram of sugar. Smells nice. Oh, I don't like you either. Mm-mm. Okay, so it does something similar to the nut pods in the silk. It has an artificial flavor, does not taste like vanilla to me at all. And it brings up a lot of bitterness, a lot of this like kind of like flavor in like the back of my throat that's kind of like making me go like mm, mm. it's not terrible it's just not good you know <laughs> I mean it's like I really appreciate this this company but I don't like this one mm -mm. and I love all things oat usually um but it just kind of it has a really bitter artificial flavor that I don't I just don't love and now that I'm looking at it all the other ones. This is the only one that has like little oil bubbles on top. So maybe there's something iffy with the like emulsification process. Maybe there's, yeah, there's like an oil pool on top of it. I don't think you could see it even if I tried to show it to you, but yeah, like there's like little shiny bubbles on it, which I don't know, man. I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that one. All right. Well, this doesn't bode well for you, my friend, but Here's the dark chocolate truffle Califia of ours with the almond milk creamer with some coconut in it. Um, let's see. Smells good.
that's not bad. It's not bad. It does have a little bit of like a chalky, like cocoa kind of flavor, you know, how like if you dip a spoon into cocoa and it's like, you think it's gonna taste delicious, but it just tastes like chalk. So it has a little bit of that like cocoa flavor, like real cocoa flavor, which is okay. You know, like I'd rather the natural than, than something artificial, silk looking at you. Um, you know, I don't mind it. I actually kind of like it and I think that it would be also really good with a cold brew, um, you know, iced coffee. It does have a little bit of like a, like an acidity or like a bitterness to it. But perhaps it just doesn't jive well with this particular coffee blend. Maybe you need to try it with something else. And ooh, maybe a cocktail. It might be really awesome if you did like this with some, you know, that new plant-based Baileys that they have. Um, maybe a little bit of oat milk in there too. Yeah, I think that would be a much better application for it. I'm not super loving it in my coffee. I do like mochas, um, and I get them often, but I, I don't think I like this in just regular plain coffee. Maybe with some steamed milk. I don't know, but it did impress me more than I thought it would after this terrible guy. So Oatly, yes, love you. Snickerdoodle, so delicious. You're pretty cool. Nut pods, no, sorry friend. Silk, absolutely not. We hated you. Goodbye. Coffee Mate, cashew milk, pretty awesome for a sweetened one. I'm not saying it's my deal because I'm not really a sweet person, but well, I'm a sweet person. I just don't really like really sweet things, um, but I liked it. And I think if you're somebody who really likes sweet coffee, then that's probably a really good option for you. Califia Farms oat milk, um, I'm sorry, oat creamer. No, I. there's something weird about you, bro. Like you need to go back to the drawing board. And then the almond milk creamer with the dark chocolate truffle, not bad. Better than I expected. So there you go. There you have it. Thank you guys so much. Please, you know, hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Also follow my Instagram at plant underscore biased babe. Bye for now.